Now that the Indians are reportedly getting ready to sell off a lot of their roster, many teams are going to be interested in the abundance of talent Cleveland has to offer. One man that has surely already picked up the phone is Yankees GM Brian Cashman. New York went over 100 games this year, but ended up getting bounced in the ALDS by their arch-rival and the eventual world champion Red Sox. Boston doesn't look like they're going away anytime soon, so Cashman needs to make some moves this offseason to shore up his team's subpar rotation. Enter Corey Kluber. Faced with market constraints, the Indians will listen to trade offers for some of their veteran players this winter, according to sources. Kluber, Carrasco, Encarnacion, Gomes, etc. Lindor, Ramirez will definitely be held, Buster Olney, at Buster. ESPN, in November 2, 2018 the two-time Cy Young winner is available in trade talks and the Yankees should do anything they can in order to acquire him. Imagine pairing Kluber, who has a career 3.09 Eric with L-stars like Luis Severino and free agent Patrick Corbin at the front of the rotation? The thought alone should prompt Cashman to get the deal done before the weekend is over. Considering that Kluber is so dominant and will be under contract for the next two seasons, Cleveland's demands will surely be astronomical. That being said, New York is one of the few teams that can afford to pull off such a trade, their farm system is overflowing with talent and it wouldn't hurt the Yankees to part with a few prospects if it means getting them closer to usurping the Sox in the Al East. Could y'all imagine if the Indians are actually willing to trade Corey Kluber? Or even Carlos Carrasco? If so, the... Those are two elite American League pitchers right there, Max Wildstein, at Max Wildstein, in November 2, 2018 if Boston celebrates another Al East crown or playoff series victory at Yankee Stadium, Cashman may be in hot water. Pulling off a trade for Kluber is not only possible, but should be expected by fans. The Yankees have to get this guy in pinstripes by the end of the winter. If not, it could be another frustrating fall in 2019 for the Bronx Bombers.